Hello guys, so welcome to today's show. So my name is Najos and you're on JFL TV, the home of football. So if today is the first time we to see our program, for you to bring you the latest Arsenal news updates as they drop all over the world. So for now, most out today's news. So Fabrizio Romano don't come outside the report say Arsenal don't submit a third bid for Jubikaro Mudrik and Baba talk say the deal they closer and closer to 70 million euros he gets. So waiting they remain now at the final stages. I remember Saturn now before say Arsenal don't already agree if it's waiting they discuss now add-ons, but they never announce them officially, so it don't come out now officially. Say the third bid we ask and give them nine them accept. And not just Fabrizio Romano now they talk this one. Even Rudy Galetti can come outside the post for his own Twitter handle when the talk say Aston have agreed a fee to sign Michael Mudrik. Say the fee now between 85 million euros, which is about 75 million pounds, and 90 million euros, which is about 80 million pounds. He gets so it's they discuss that the base fee and the add-ons. And not only Rudy Galetti we talk about this thing, even Sky Sports self Chukman for they talk about the same thing. Sky Sports can the report say Arsenal and Shakhtar have agreed on Mudrik fee, so now 62 million pounds plus add-ons. You get remember at the earliest time I talk say the fee is not the issue. The issue is the add-ons and the bonus and the performance-related incentives. So when people, why make they bring all these credible mentions? They talk say, they talk say they don't agree. With now for those who still they skeptical, those who still they doubtful, those who still they post say, I can swear on my life, I can swear on my this one. Say Arsenal no go buy anybody. You are coming to the shock of your life. You get. I believe say at the end of the day you are going to eat your words because Arsenal must sign. That one I lie. As long as the one. I get something this season. The one win the league or the one enter the Champions League, they must get something to sustain their momentum because you don't know the things that will happen in the future. Maybe injuries will come, maybe sickness will come, suspension will come. I will come they open. We can't need somebody who will come into. That is why they want to make this guy their priority signing and sign him and move forward. So even uh, some people they talk say in the coming days, uh, if we hear here we go. Anytime you make Fabrizio, you know when I see that Fabrizio update, another coming after 10. With Fabrizio drop that and say Aston and an exclusive only Fabrizio line break. And when you see exclusive, that means now it's a scoop. Now only you get that story as of that moment. Talk say Aston just made a third bid now to make sure say the guarantee of the fee don't be ready so in the coming days i won't be surprised so me i don't expect this deal to linger to the end of january no i don't expect that to happen i expect like for today now we get like maybe 18 days to go for this january so i expect maybe before the 15 days to go or 10 days to go as i go wrap them up you have this one not go there as complicated as any other deal we want to get so me i know the fear no just the watch so away from that, so Kevin Campbell can come as I can urge Arsenal to make sure say it is not just about signing Mikhail Mudrik. And for those who don't know, Kevin Campbell is a former Arsenal player and one of the football pundits that we have. So Baba can come as I talk say it not be about signing Mudrik alone be the problem. After you sign Mudrik, make sure you get another striker, get somebody like Tammy Abraham. Why did you mention Tammy Abraham? Somebody that can give you a different dimension in attack. Not be every time you go good, grander, grander, grander. Look at what Man City is doing with LA Haaland, even though it's causing them more harm than good. At least if they try grander, you know what? What they will do? They go square play and go know that. That is the main reason why Aston Manchester United go sign this Wegoros with the play for Besiktas on loan from Burnley. Man, you now don't pay Besiktas settlement money. They don't pay Burnley loan fee. They don't carry the guy. If you see the guy, the guy be like giant, the guy they very tall. So that if they do grander with Antonio Masha and Rashford, you know what? They will carry up in for them. Make the guy know that. So that's what they are expecting. So we too, we need to be think towards that direction. But the major issue is that I don't see Arsenal signing a striker in this January. That's what I'm saying. Maybe for the summer. And even if you want to sign a striker in January, how many strikers are available? What is the caliber? We do, at this stage of our life now, we are not just signing average players for signing sake. We will sign, like what is the CEO of Venkasham talk? If we are signing, we are signing men, men. Don't just want to sign short term signing. We are signing long term people, people who fit into our football philosophy. That is what we are trying to do. So for me personally, I go take him in camera and say I don't see Arsenal signing a player. Maybe for the summer, eh? Uh -huh. They will sign an upgrade. So we'll just watch. Get back at the Sagna said, don't come outside. They tell people say they're very, very patient with this Modric deal. Say the guy is coming. In short, all indicators, all indications show say Modric they come. So there's no why you look like boss of it. Even after Arsenal made that third bid. Not too long after that, but Mudrik go post thank you 
for a Instagram story, just post hand like this, post hand like this. Maybe the guy they happy say, ah, thank God, they say, ask another to solidify and make sure say everything they go solo. Apart from that, the guy still post another picture of where uh, one picture that when we are asking Jesse, they can write his name for paper, white paper, Mikhailo Mudrik. I don't know. The guy don't give us different different signals, different different signs. Say, I am coming, I am coming. And <laughs> some people in this skeptical. It's just very funny. So something like this, I'm just get patience. This guy is coming because all this transfer we see, you know, is like a tell now. Because Shakhtar Donetsk, they really need money, and that the only way they think they get money be this because you know, see that war in Ukraine, it really affects their revenue. Boom, it affects them. You get, you know, even though say they postponed their league one not too long ago, they just they resume. So they need money bad bad to do a lot of things, pay salaries, do many things. That's why they won't sell these are prized assets. Apart from that, Shaka do this why I know they think very very stubborn. If they say A, A na A, they all be like bright. <laughs> so it just be. Over the FA don't charge this Arsenal again for this Oxford incident of what they call disorderly conduct for the match you Arsenal play against Oxford. If you remember for the 30 40 minutes, one Oxford player bought touching hand. Where everybody gonna shout penalty, penalty, penalty. So referee don't give the penalty to so Aston players come rush the referee. At the end of the day, referee don't still blow him because VAR no they say VAR did. I mean say they will overturn that decision, give Aston penalty. So now the FA they say Aston failed to control their players and it is resulting to disorderly conduct and it goes against the FA code 20.1 you get of the football clinical clinical. So they the charge Aston is like the second charge in like maybe one week. So Aston gets up to on the 16th of January to respond. To talk why they feel they're not go find them because I've been saying last last and fine it will be now for the match they play yesterday we full and play Chelsea you get when they uh, slide when and when they slide uh, Joe Felix when Joe Felix slide somebody we full and players come rush the referee both Chelsea players rush the referee but I don't forget what happened but they rush the referee I see the pictures online we see the FA go talk about that one nothing nothing and meanwhile for those who know they are aware Joao Felix played for Chelsea yesterday, played his debut. He don't score, but he played fantastically. We played about one hour before he can collect red card. He go miss straight red card, and this is the first red card in his football league. So he go miss three matches. So people just sign up. <laughs> the guy don't go there available for the next three matches because not straight red card. So I just he just get bad luck. Fulham beat them two one yesterday. Almost watched the match. Fulham even they less stronger because Alexander Mitrovic no play because. They didn't get five yellow cards already, so it's unfortunate. But at the end of the day, they still won. I watched the match, it was very, very sweet. I remember Sartre on yesterday say, I will do roots for Fulham to beat Chelsea. Chelsea, they tense in the position. If we win our own match now, we take like more than 20 points, they cap Chelsea for what they did. Like, come on. When this, when, when this kind of thing don't happen last, they ask at least 20 points, they cap Chelsea for the top of the table. Or more, you know, they're very, very easy. So, my dear football lovers, it is what it is. I'm even Fabrizio Romano so I've come and say talk about Odegaard. Come talk say see the deal you never be here we go now. But once we go on Sam say Odegaard and as Odegaard but Mudrik is obsessed with Arsenal. This guy wants to join Arsenal by all means. Like he wants to join Arsenal as soon as possible. Because he believes say that war where they have for Ukraine, almost all the foreigners waiting for the league don't find their square roots. Even for the Shakhtar the next team, foreigners where they don't do the Brazilians, Portuguese, they don't come out. And not only homegrown players that call these Ukrainians and then they there. Nobody will want to deal with the fight for where they throw bomb. So the league not interesting again. That is why this guy is desperate to leave, to move. Um, if then deny him of this move, uh, what will go happen? So that's why the guy did this for the family. said, don't confirm him. He's, no one that says somebody's obsessed with something. The obsession is too high. It is very visible. Uh. So they're visible to the blind, audible to the deaf. You can see it and hear it. But the social media, all the, the pictures of the guy, they do everything. Let everybody say, this is my final destination. So most of the watch has everything go. For me, and I am highly, highly, I wish English, English, I would describe myself. I did ensure that I get this guarantee, this assurance. See this deal will happen, Shola. So, by the media setting, I want to ask Odegaard about being top of the EPL. Whether I know they bring pressure to the Arsenal team. Yeah, so, I'm going to talk to you. No, see, all of them they'll be professionals, and all of them they'll be young players with the experience. You get see, you go look, say, maybe then they young. Go look at Bukayo Saka. How many seasons don't play for Arsenal? How many games you don't play? First, you don't play over 100 games. You go to say, in this moment, this moment, but in the field of play, has massive experience. And that failure we happened last season, you don't teach them a lot of lesson, complacency. They cannot relax, get and they play every game to win every game. But they can talk say fine, they live on top of the league, but they know the reason all those one. 
And then they look people within near them. All they are doing is being focused, being humble, and take it game after game. They play every game to win every game, regardless of who you are as an opposition. So now it's about just the explain. So like me, that sometimes I don't fear say, ah, oh, maybe press your feet with it. Like me, but you don't say like this Man City now where they play Manchester United on Saturday will be tomorrow. Man City will first us play. If Man City go win, Man United they go get two points behind us. We will kind of play the North London Derby. Like the pressure won't it affect us? You know, and they think all those things. But if Man City go lose, get who will get extra incentive? to cause an upset at the White and the Tottenham Sports Stadium so I never know how everything to go I support our captain all the that so we'll just proceed I'm even asking our CEO Vinay Van Kasham don't come outside the talk say we are ready we are ready to sign in this January we did the interview him for one CNN program now actually Richard Quest now they interview him but they ask him a lot of things about Aston but the major questions when they ask him like about Mudrix, the Alpha, the Aston fans they complain say they don't want to spend the money, they don't buy the player but back on talk say he don't want to talk about individual or specific players who belong to another club you know who they fair but once we go assure Aston fans we say we are not buying players for the short term because we are buying players for the long term and we are ready to spend in January where we see an opportunity that we can leverage and we can take advantage of now what thing we go do so me and I say this Mudrik that one I like after they get Mudrik maybe they will go for Milinkovic, Savic and never know go we'll just watch now in case you are a personal trainer what they call Chris Vanavas don't come and for Twitter when they post say in Ketia, now one of the best athletes we in don't work with since in day for this athlete and uh, football this uh, this level this realm see in Ketia, now one of the best you can see they, they train the guy for speed for strength for stamina and agility see the way the guy they run up and down and, and, and they are working and they work with them they make sure say he can play 90 minutes without getting tired run up and down again you can want to switch go in Ketia, play with them pass the ball when turn one player like this when turn one like this West Ham I can't remember we turn the guy, come wipe sure to say that then they teach him all those kinds of things. They make sure say in the very very strong get he may not have that bulky body like the bully defenders, but he has a slick nature. You know how to turn, how to run, twist and turn, dribble. So the guy is very, very good. Well, when I continue a good work, as long as in case I continue to score, people go reduce the level of pressure <laughs> that they put for this guy. Here. A my famous Ukraine manager, whether they call Vicheslav Grozny, don't come as I call the talk, say. Him no see as now paying that 100 million euros with Shakhtar the talk and say Shakhtar said will reduce the valuation because there is no player in the Ukrainian league where what's that kind of fee that is it is too much you get say Shakhtar don't over exaggerate the fee say it no make sense to the use maybe the fee where Ant uh, Manchester United pay for Anthony as a reference point to come evaluate your own player it is a no brainer you get even Manchester United self don't come outside the cry say they paid over the top they don't testify they don't confess they don't pay over the top for Anthony now the mirror cover that story, but that one is a story for another day. So now about this guy, but back on the talk, say what's in the sea for us now? We say I think I want to create a Ukrainian connection on that left flank using a Zinchenko as a left back, but use Mikhail Modric as a left wing forward, you get so that two of them will control that left side. It's going to be a Ukrainian connection the same way we have a Brazilian connection in our team. Well, it'll be a bad team, but they'll decide what's in the goal. So my dear football of us, if you know what yesterday, you should check the top left corner of your screen. We'll see the thumbnail. Click and so that you get all Arsenal updates as they drop all over the world. So start you signing out. Enjoy the rest of your day. That game out.